joining me in my YouTube channel here. Um, this is a channel where you can learn about VBA applications or Visual Basic applications. And I'm just going to show you a video here of an application I developed while I worked at the bank. Now I created a video on this earlier, but YouTube apparently has captured it for some kind of copyright, which I don't understand, but I think it might have been scanned in the company name. So I removed that, so we're not going to see that this time. So anyways, when I was there, I worked as a fraud analyst, and one of the primary one of the primary things that is required when a member or a customer calls into the bank is to verify security questions with them. So I'm not going to get divulge a lot of that, but you can see here, this is the, the application that I, I created here. This just tells whether they passed authentication. Sometimes they could call and they could pass. Let's say they failed it, and then at this point, uh, first thing you want to do here is we'll enter in the account number here. Okay, so we got the account number saved there. And we could find out whether it's an authorized user, a third party, or a merchant just by putting the name of the person that called in there. So if I put John, third party, he called in. And then let's say he verified uh, his date of birth and his social security number, last four numbers of the ship, security number, or something like that. And then there's other security questions that we would ask him here based on this information. So I'm just going to go down here. Let me see, employer, let's just say he works at um, ABC Bread or something like that. This is a fictitious company name. And then inside of here, these are other screens. Uh, have to be careful, some of these screens might be captured for copyright, so I'm going to stay away from those for now. Um, I'm not sure what that one was. These were just some other stuff I had here. And you can also click here for like the last four numbers of his checking account, for example. And then where you found it at. Or where you wanted the document to. And... This actually, oh, I didn't show you this. This actually opens up multiple windows. We saw that multi windows. Let me just pull the application back up here again. The name of the application is Focus, as you've already guessed there. Okay, so we got all this information now. Um, we're going to get a little bit more information here from the customer. Um, we could check, like, they're calling in to see whether their card was referred or declined. Let's say it was declined. We'll leave that there. Um, action taken here. These are things that we did if we're calling out and stuff like that, so we'll probably avoid that. Um, outbound call to, this is if we're making outbound calls. So I had this program set up doing a lot of different things. This is if they're traveling and they're planning a purchase to travel somewhere. This is just extra notes window, so you just type like extra notes and it'll get transferred in here. This tells whether you had to transfer to another department. So let's say when we're done here, we had to transfer to customer service or something like that. And then these are some other um, information that you could put in the notes that kind of detail a call. The reason why this is necessary is that the bank, they required very, at the time, they required very specific information that had to be entered into the screens here. And let's see, transfer customer service. I was trying to figure out why. Oh, it erased all my screens over here for some reason. Let's go back and add these back in here. I don't know why it did that. It must have been that one of these other screens erased all the information I just stuck in there. Did you see that? I had this thing doing so many things. To tell you the truth, it's really hard to really keep up with the whole thing in particular. But um, I'm just going to avoid that one this time so I don't end up making it crash this time. So anyways, if you view all changes, you'll see it, it right here. It transfers all that information that we just typed in those other fields down into this window here. You can scroll and kind of look in this window. It basically saves it to what's called the clipboard in Windows. Okay, and then other things here. Um, yeah, you can click all these buttons to get other stuff going. You can also uh, change the... You, oh, let me show you this. This actually is for um, customer service, like stuff that tips that you might want to use during a call and stuff like that based on the call itself. And that's kind of some of the things we would say, or just we need security, I'll ask you a few security questions. This one right here clicks and prints the time 
current time or in uh, date. This is just a demo. I was going to have it trying to do like a, a tutorial, self-guided kind of thing. These are some of the claims that you can um, also that were required. Like for example, if they were traveling, where were they traveling to? Let's say somebody's traveling to Australia, like Australia, and then you would put in a contact number. I don't know what the area code is over there, but I'm just going to use um example like a New York area code or something. And these are what they're going to, are they going to make large purchases, local purchases, and you hit this button here, and it's going to show you everything you did up here, and then you hit down here, view all changes, and it's going to transfer all the new information to the window there. So it kind of keeps track of all the buttons and stuff like that. So that's basically, these are just different, um, these are different types of planes that were being done. This is actually uh, a screen I designed here. Um, allows you to do a few simple things like you can open up control panel here. You can this one turns the database on and off. For those who did not at the time want it to be here's Explorer for example. For those who didn't want to have the, um, the database writing to Word because that's what it would do is it would take everything from Access and transfer it into Word. Or not Word I'm sorry Notepad. These are just some other things I had. There's a power attorney document there, stuff like that. And this is used for a different part called detection. This right here, yeah, this is where you, it would write to a database. So you fill these fields in and it would write to a database here. And you could use next and previous to cycle through the screens. And this would save it. This would actually load, but it doesn't have the database in there so it's not going to load it. And this right here is using tree view to show you some tips again. Talking tips and stuff like that. Okay so I just wanted to kind of show you that as an as an example already. Um, this up here keep, is it actually it'll, it's like a tip sheet. So once you click this down here this thing is supposed to fire up. For some reason it's not right. This is just like a tip sheet telling you other things that you'll want to do when you're verifying the security questions and stuff like that. This one's kind of cool. One of my friends suggested to change the colors, so I started, you know, and, and implementing my own color into the, the program itself. Blue is kind of cool. I like aqua the best. So yeah, those are just some of the other changes and stuff like that. Um, and finally, when you're all done, after you've copied all this information down here, oh, and let me show you this too before I forget. This actually changes the size of the labels here. You'll watch them; they'll get bigger. They'll get bigger and bigger. See how they're getting bigger for people who, you know, who needed all uh, stuff magnified. This also changes, I think, the text. Oh, down in the window here below me, so it makes it larger there and then smaller. I should have set up a default, but I never did. Okay, so we got that.